Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to Reading with Toby. Today I have an exciting video for you guys. I wanted to make another anticipated releases video. These are books that are coming out for the rest of the year. So I'm going to start with July and then go on till December because there are some other great books coming out. I will link the other video that I did. Um, I think I did it like in December for anticipated releases. So you can go check that out to see those books. But I'm going to mention a whole new selection of books that are coming out. There are some amazing books coming out at the end of the year, especially in September and October. So many great books. Um, yeah, so I thought I would make this because I'm excited. One, I'm excited about them. Two, I want to share some spotlights on some black authors and some books by black authors that I'm super excited about. And you guys can check it out and go pre-order them if you are interested. I'm definitely gonna pre-order a ton of books once I figure out where my address is going to be <laughs> because I am moving in like a month and a half. Not sure where exactly yet, but I am moving. And once I figure out my address, I will definitely be pre-ordering some of these books. Some of them, I, they sound like so good. So let's get started. This video should be much more organized <laughs> than that last one. I'm going to do it by month so you guys can just follow along and all that stuff. Let's start off with July. So first book in July is a book called Feather Tide by Beth Cartwright. This is a kind of fantasy magical realism story it sounds just very whimsical i can't even tell you what it's about but all it says is like it's about this girl and she is on a hunt that leads her to the city of murmurs a place of mermaids and mystery where jars of swirling mist are carried through the streets by the brokenhearted doesn't that sound just so like i don't know it just sounds so good and whimsical and i'm excited and it says for fans of the night circus and the bear and the nightingale so it's always gonna be very whimsical and magical and I love this cover and I really like books about mermaids so I'm excited about that. Okay the next book is called The Year of the Witching and this is by Alexis Henderson. Okay so this author is a person of color. I'm not sure if she's um black. It doesn't say on her profile so I don't want to say you know what she isn't or is but she's definitely a person of color but this book sounds so good. First of all I love books about witches. This is a horror witch book like that just sounds great also one thing i do want to mention there are so many amazing horror books as you're going to see as i talk about so many amazing horror books coming out but yes this is one of them it says it's like a horror book about a witch coming to her powers and in this fantasy world witches are not like good they're killed so she finds out that she has these powers and it's supposed to be like a horror book sounds amazing all right so the next book is afterland by lauren bukes now her i'm sure you've noticed already by the cover she has a lot of books that come out i have never read one of her books but i have been wanting to i have a lot of her books on my to be read shelf but this is her newest release and it says children of men meets the handmaid's tale which sounds really good children of men is an amazing film. All right, I'm looking down at my laptop because I don't have all of these uh, plots memorized, but yeah. It seems to be um, in this world where all the men have died after some sort of pandemic, which is also like kind of fitting. Um, all the men have died and this mom is going to find her son. And it seems like it's a thriller feminist novel on all of that, which just sounds amazing as well. And I really, really love this cover. Okay, the next one is Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. This is one of those authors, there's going to be a few of these, one of those authors where I haven't read from them, but I just know I'm going to like their stories. Don't know how, I just have a feeling that I'm going to love it. I really want to re read, <laughs> I really want to read Wilder Girls. I'm definitely going to buy that book soon because I have been wanting to read that book forever. That was her debut novel and some people seem to love it, some people seem to not really care for it. It seems like a book that I'm really going to love. This is another um book by her that's coming out like i said in july what it's about but i'm excited to read it because it sounds good i've seen a couple people around booktube have arcs of it already and they seem to enjoy it so i'm excited for it okay and then the last book in july that i'm excited about is called black top wasteland and i freaking love this cover i don't know what it is i just love this cover this is by s a cosby and this is another book by a black author by a black male author which is even more awesome but this basically just sounds like a high action state thriller crime novel so it seems to be about this guy who is called bug around the town he is known as the best getaway driver and he reluctantly decides to join this kind of 
diamond heist and it seems like he just gets involved in this crazy crime thriller ride and it just sounds so good it sounds like it would be like a really action-packed movie like when i was reading it i was like oh my god this would be an amazing movie already and haven't even read the book so it sounds really good i haven't read a crime book like that i don't think like ever so i'm definitely excited for this one let's go ahead and move on to august there's only one book that sounded really interesting to me that's coming out in august and it is actually a non-fiction book it's called the fixed stars by molly weisenberg this is a story about a woman she said she was on jury and she's married to a man and she starts falling in love with this attorney that she's watching um she doesn't know her doesn't get to know her but she falls in love with her and it's kind of her dealing with her newfound sexuality and kind of going through life with that going through a divorce telling her children coming out all that stuff coming to her identity i don't know it just sounds really great and it's awesome that it's a non-fiction story so i'm excited about that one all right so let's go ahead and go to september like i told you guys september and october have a ton of books so i think we have five or six books to talk about so the very first one which i'm like super excited about is called these violent delights and it's by micah i don't even know how you say his last name never oh i'm not even gonna try to say that one but i actually saw this one on instagram and the only like sentence i saw that caught my eye was that it is the secret history meets call me by your name like perfect combination it seems to be about these two boys in college as they slowly become more and more obsessed with each other and i think it kind of gets uh really dark and violent and i don't know it just sounds amazing and i'm here for it <laughs> next is daddy stories by emma klein this one no idea what it's about all i know is that it's by emma klein i have been waiting for her to come out with another book she wrote girls which i absolutely loved so much and i have been waiting since i read that book however many years ago <laughs> for her to come out with her next one so i'm super excited about this one again i literally have no idea i'm just going to buy it and read it and uh, we'll see what happens the next one is the base rock by evie wilde i have actually already read this book i got an early copy from net galley and it was really good this book is set in scotland and you're following three different timelines one timeline a woman is being accused as a witch in the second timeline you're following a woman post world war ii as she joins this new family becomes a stepmom and then the third one you're in present day following this woman whose father just died and they're all kind of connected somehow they all live in this well not not the woman who's a witch but they all live on like the scotland um seaside near the base rock and it's also kind of gothic because they live in this like giant house that seems to have ghosts and kind of creepy but it was really good and it's definitely um focusing on violence against women because it's interspersed with these little stories that are about violence against women and i really really enjoyed it so this comes out in september like i said definitely check it out the next book 100 <laughs> percent i just clicked on it because this author has my name and i have never seen an author have my name before ever but then it just so turns out that the book sounds amazing like so good so it's called 50 words for rain by asha lemmy and she also happens to be a black author so you're following this girl who is half japanese half african-american and her mom ends up leaving her and her grandparents take her in but because she's half african-american and her skin is dark they keep her in the attic and they give her like chemical baths to try to lighten her skin and she is just like living in this world wondering what else is out there but then her um half brother comes to take over the estate and is like teaching her about um her culture and her life and that she is like a human doesn't that sound just so good like i cannot wait sounds amazing the last book for september that sounds really good is a thriller and this is when no one was watching by Alyssa cole oh my gosh this book sounds so good so this is by another black author this seems to be a thriller set in brooklyn about the gentrification of the neighborhood it says rear window meets get out sounds amazing all right so for october again there are some really great books coming out the first one definitely one of my most anticipated by v.e schwab all of us know about it the invisible life of Addie larue i believe i just know it's about a girl who lives forever but no one remembers her name and i think there's like a demon right or something i don't know sounds so good i'm definitely going to pre-order this one i love the e schwab's writing it is incredible the next one is the devil and the dark water by stuart turton so when i saw this i was like that author 
that author's name sounds so familiar and he wrote the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle which i have not read but i know i'm gonna love that book it's, it was one of my five star predictions and i really need to get to it but this is his newest book and it sounds so good so literally like the first sentence caught my eye again it just says a murder on the high sea a detective duo and a demon who may or may not exist sounds great next we have black sun by rebecca roan horse this is by another author who's a person of color this is a fantasy book based off civilizations of pre-columbian america which just sounds so great i love i am realizing that i love fantasy books based off these like really rich cultures i love it so this sounds so good i've never i don't think i've read a book set in colombia the one that's set in this kind of time period just sounds amazing so the next one is another horror book and it's called plain bad heroines by emily m danforth she wrote the miseducation of cameron post which i have not read but i know a lot of people love that book and this is a horror sapphic book which is like all i need to know and it's set in a boarding school in new england for girls like that's all i need to know i'm down i'm, I'm excited <laughs> all right so on to november november we have my personally my most anticipated release for 2020 it is a sequel and it is the fires of vengeance by evan winter so this is the sequel to the rage of dragons which if, if you have not read the rage of dragons like what are you doing if you love fantasy check this out even if you haven't like you want to dip your toe into fantasy it is honestly the perfect book the book is incredible and he's a black author like it's just it was just so good so i'm definitely pre-ordering this book you have time to read it before the second book comes out i'm so excited oh my gosh okay <laughs> all right so the next one is called exquisite cadavers by mina candesmi i'm not sure how you say her last name but this is an indian author this book sounds so interesting so it seems to at its core be a love story but it seems like it's going to be written in a very experimental way. It says framed with fragments and peppered with footnotes. So it seems like it's going to be a more experimental style of writing. I really like testing out experimental writing. It can be really powerful if they do it really well. So I'm excited about this one. So the next one is called The Harpy and it's by Megan Hunter. Now this book sounds wild. It sounds like one of those books that's going to be really weird and out there but I tend to really love those books. So I'm super excited about this one. So this seems to be about this couple, this married couple, and the wife finds out that her husband has been cheating on her. So instead of ending their marriage, they come to an agreement where she gets to hurt him three times. So it says it's a dark horror fairy tale and the wife starts to literally like transform as she's um, giving out these punishments. I don't know. It just sounds really out there and I am very excited for it. <laughs> Last week in November is The Betrayals by Bridget Collins. So this author came out with a book called The Binding, which I was super excited about. I never got around to reading it, but this is her newest release. So this book seems to be set in a boarding school, which we love. And there's like, they are the brightest of the bright but there seems to be some sort of games that they have to do. I'm not really sure, but it seems like there's a big conspiracy or some big lie about these games and these two characters are trying to figure out what it is. I don't know, it sounds great, I'm excited. <laughs> and for December, there were, again, there was only one book that really caught my eye and it is a, another horror book and it is The Blade Between by Sam J. Miller. So this is, oh my gosh, I just realized that it says it's a ghost story. I love ghost stories. I thought it was just a thriller. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm excited because all I saw was that it was a queer horror book, which I'm all about and its own voices, which I'm all about. So I was like, I'm excited for it. But now I see that it's a ghost story and that just makes me even more excited. So it says an uncanny ghost story about a rapidly changing city in upstate New York and the mysterious force that threatens it. I'm down. I love ghost stories. So, so those are all of the books that I'm super excited about that are coming out the rest of the year. I made a shelf on my Goodreads that are all of these books that I mentioned. So if you want to go and look at that shelf and like add them to your own Goodreads, make it a little bit easier for you guys, you can do that. Definitely make sure you go pre-order these books if you are excited about it, especially if they are um, books by black authors or books by people of color, because that will let the publishing industry know that people are excited about these books and we need more of their voices, more of these kind of authors, more of these kind of stories. So make sure you go do that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.